Well, hello everyone and welcome yourselves in to the highly anticipated new cycle. Post-apocalyptic, baby. So we're going to go straight into the campaign here. I'm not going to mess about. We're going meadow. You get plus 40 morale at the start of spring and it sounds like a good place to start, right? Nice and level. All right, so here we are. We are in and it's going to tell us straight away a welcome message. Let's grab this. Civilization fell. So you're now the governor of this little community. Nearly half a century since the first solar flare. If you didn't know, the game's based on a post-apocalyptic world after a solar flare and civilization did fall. So we're going to go through with the tutorial on this first one anyway. So it's just a nice little uh, tester to get you started, which is always helpful. It's going to ask us to build a field camp. So yeah, those of you who don't know, I've been waiting for the best part of a year now for this. And I finally do have it. It's out in early access in January. And I'm quite excited. As you can see, you have two options. You can build on the grid. You can tab off to build away from the grid as well. I'm going to keep it on the grid for now. And I'm going to place it right here to be able to get some wood and stone. So we're going to start with that. And once we unlock the roads, we'll go with that as well. But here we are. Pretty damn beautiful, right? I love post-apocalyptic anyway. It's always been a bit of a fun thing of mine. In the end, we'll see another each, day. Obviously, oh. obviously, each person has their own thing. The music was way louder in the menu than opposed to in-game, so I'm going to change that. All right, hopefully you can hear that now. I wanted to be able to, yeah, the, the, it's a little bit um, buggy on the uh, the menu music. But, yeah, welcome yourselves in, guys. If you are new around here, we like all things city builder and colony builder. So, yeah, welcome. I'm going to whiz through this, and I'm just going to speed it up. We're in day, day two already. The time goes pretty quick on this, and we need to go straight away to assign all the workers in here. To start getting wood and stone and then we can move on to our next production here. all right just coming in now the last lot of logs are about to finish off and we'll have our first tutorial done so it does just guide you through the really really basics here and hopefully we can start building our roads it says unresearched but we do in fact have it researched i'll show you real quick so next we go on to lumber mill and some lumber so i'm just going to go into the development tree real quick so you can kind of see it's off to the left here so community knowledge plus 35 per day and we have 70 on us you have workers, engineers, and another one. I can't remember what they're called, actually. Oh, first, we need to name our camp. Lonzi's Liberators. There we go. Beautiful. Get yourselves in here. Yeah, we are known as Lonzi's Liberators. We're going to get ourselves a lumber mill here. So produce 30 lumber. Lumber mill is down in the production tab here. So you've got residents. And you've got different tiers as you unlock as well. So there is a lot of buildings in this. But we're going to be pretty sensible with this. And we're going to have this... Somewhere in line with this. It needs to be relatively close for movement purposes. Let's go straight next to it here. And the roads just allow them to walk quicker, I believe. They don't actually have to have a road. Don't quote me on that. I think certain buildings might need to be attached to the road. But for, for now, we're not even allowed to uh, research it. It says established, but we don't have it yet based on the tutorial. So let's just get this little bit through. Building away here. I do hope you're well, though, guys, and welcome yourselves in. This should be a pretty good experience. Right, let's slow it back down. So, we officially have our lumber mill now. We can select what production is going to be. We're just going to click through these because I do actually know what they are. Because I have played demo a fair bit. Now, they may have changed some things. But, yeah, you just select it here. So, it tells you how much producer. One log is required and it will produce a certain amount. So, if we put five in here, we'll get 17 lumber per day. So, the base production rate is six lumber. So our current production rate. It's three lumber for three, 4.3 hours. So you can obviously change this and make it better based on what you have as well. Not connected to road networks so minus 30 workforce. So it's not as efficient. If it's not by the, the road, but that is fine. There's not a lot we can do about that. Now, what we can do in the research is go into basic construction. It costs 24, though, so we can't actually do that until we've got the resources. If you're wondering what this building is, this one is like your main main. Yeah, it's called the main hall. It's your uh, your hub, essentially. If you click on it, you can see all your stats. So population 35, we've got a morale bar, health bar, and attractiveness. Now, there's a lot of different stuff that play into some of these, but it unlocks as we go along as well. And our knowledge will tick up at 35 per day, so we should have enough to do some research momentarily as well. We've got photo mode to hide the UI, which is really, really nice. I think every game deserves that. And down here, you've got your, your months as well. So renewal rate resources for next spring based on precipitation. So, no dangerous weather events observed. I've picked campaign because the sandbox mode doesn't have weather events. So, you've got to play the campaign mode for late game harsh events. That's the reason we've gone for it. 
And there we go. So please don't think I'm whizzing through these. I'm just trying to get the very, very basics out so you can kind of see the meat and veg of the game because it really, really does open up. All right, so every operation is harder to perform in a settlement without roads. So our next task is going to be to build the roads then. So by pressing the tab key, you can switch between building grid-based and linear roads. I like freeform roads. But for the sake of this, I'm going to grid it a little bit. For now, just along here. I'm going to get that one going there. And then we just need to connect it to our town hall. So let's just bring it up to here for now. And there we have it. So that should get rid of our issue here. So it wants water next. But that should get rid of our yeah our minus in here. So that's good. We've got to produce our water now. So we're going to grab a well. And there's certain areas on the map that have water. And they do deplete as well. So you need to be wary of that. Now what I'm going to do is have this somewhere that's going to allow us to get all three of these. And I think that is actually a really good spot. I'm just going to rotate around that way and bring the road up. And that's a fair start to our settlement. Now, I think I'm going to keep this open. Or shall we get a road around? I'm going to bring this around, actually. And it's weirdly, weirdly, this middle road doesn't actually count for anything, which is uh, interesting. All right, well, just coming up there, hard at work. I will slow it down, actually. Let's go into photo mode. Let's have a little look. Just as they build. So every little thing has an animation, which I, I swear every city game needs to have that. If your colony builder doesn't have the animations, it's not usually as good, in my opinion. But there we have it. So we should be able to produce some water here. So efficiency, 96 per day. And there's 6,386 in the vicinity here. You do need to keep an eye on that. I think certain weather events do can replenish it. I'm just going to speed that one up. We're already nine days in. So as you can tell, the, the time does go quick here. We should be hitting our 60 there. So we'll slow that down as well. Beautiful stuff. We, we're going into another month here. All right, now that we have access to water, we're only one step short of calling this place home. So gather some mushrooms. No problem. Let's get some food. So we're going to need a gathering camp. Now, the two main food types that you have on land are mushroom and meat, if I remember correctly. And then there's fishing areas as well. I don't know whether it looks like... Hmm, okay. He is actually pretty damn good. I want this kind of next to it. I want my first lot to be over here. So I'm going to rotate that one, Anne. I think that's already attached to the road network as well. And we can tell it what to gather as well. So for the time being, we'll gather both because food is so, so important. Both the water and food early game. So, so important. Let's see if it lets me research based on this now. I'm going to start the research of this one, even though it hasn't asked for it, because we're going to need the soup kitchen anyway. And then we'll go into Oath here, which will give us the shack. And that's the first lot of houses. They've revamped the tree, which I like. This looks much nicer, actually. Obviously, this is only tier one, remember. If you go through your ages, it won't show the rest yet. It gets pretty crazy after here when you start getting into the power needs and stuff. It gets pretty wild. Kind of reminds me of Frostpunk. We know how I feel about that. I will note that it looks like they're going to have some campaign scenarios, just like Frostpunk as well, that you're going to have to survive, which I think is awesome. And I want to give a shout out to the team as well. They've been really, really friendly. Both the uh, the, the publisher and the dev team have been awesome. So I, I just want to give a shout out to them as far as community stuff goes. They've been very, very nice to talk to as well. All right, let's get our three workers in there. That's enough of that, though. I just want to point out as well, all opinions of the game are obviously mine. So just take it... Take it as that you know not paid for anything all i got was the key and i've been excited about it so all right so we're going to start gathering these mushrooms in now and we'll keep continually seeing things come in it looks really nice doesn't it guys so i'm running on ultra at the moment i'm getting about 90 fps on a 30 70 ti so remember i'm in an early earlier build than early access if that makes sense as well so i wouldn't say that's fully optimized either so actually it runs pretty well pretty well you know all right, there's the mushrooms completing out now as well. Beautiful. Let's see what's next. Okay, the cornerstone of civilization. The time has come to cook our meals. Well, so good job we researched that, right? Research basic construction and build a soup kitchen. Almost like I knew. No, I am actually going to build this out this way a little bit. So I kind of want my soup kitchen. Hmm. Big bit of space you can build on anyway. I think I'm going to just put it here for now. And then I'm going to bring the road just around this area here. We're going to just make a block there. 
Not sure whether that's going to attach, actually. Yes, that did attach. So we're going to have our first little grid there. I will change the loops and stuff as we have stuff out in the wild and things like that as well. And, and we'll make sure we bring that in. Obviously, we've developed that one. It's going to keep asking for it. Next up is going to be oath. So once we have the planks, I will get those in and we'll be able to get the uh, houses. Did need to mention as well the overview panel here. So you get a food summary, population summary, storage summary, electric summary when you get into that. And you get an annual report as well passed for each year or each time for the season. The main one in here early on though is going to be the food stuff here. So you need to make sure you're getting your ration amount equal to your food amount. Um, so at the moment, we've obviously got it set to mushrooms. We can, in fact, flip that to meat when this one runs out. So available resources will always be inside of here as well. And you can tell that um, you can set rations on your people as well. I think it's done in here, actually. I don't think I'm allowed to do it just yet. But you can hit emergency shifts, inpatient rest leave. Yeah, we'll wait. It should allow me to uh, change that soon. All right, so the cookhouse has been built. So we're going to allow the mushroom soup for now. We'll probably build a second one of these anyway. So we'll go mushroom soup. And we'll probably just say 14 per day because it takes a little bit of water. There's no real reason to uh, pump that up too high. Because you'll see that our consumption, if you hover over each one, you get a consumption and a production here. And we have some strangers, a group of travelers. The more our settlement grows, the more attention we'll get from passers-by and the more people will be willing to join us, both more frequently and in larger groups. Yep, we'll definitely accept them. So we just got ourselves two new workforce here, which is awesome. And there's step six done on the tutorial as well. So we have plenty of planks now, and I'm going to go ahead and start researching Oath, which takes 30 hours and a lot of community knowledge. But we have 562 here. So what we're going to do is start getting our first housing area done. Population management. Okay. This is where we can change it now, then it looks like. If I click the worker class up here, it takes me into population management. There you go. Workers, craftsmen, and specialists. I'm just going to click out of this. Tells you how many children. But yes, you can have babies. What you're feeding them. Efficiency and workforce here. So if we go into, I believe, food, we can change the distribution from low to medium. And that's what I'm going to do early on. I'm going to do the same for water because it, it stops more medical issues. So what we can then do is put a third person in there. I'm just going to hover over. All right, supply and demand. Set ration distribution to regular. Distribute rations successfully free. We've done that. That's fine. We're producing 14 per day, but we, we've, we're we using 15. So we do actually need the four workers in here, and that should give us a surplus. There you go. Producing 19 per day, consuming 14 per day. Got to be careful you don't do too much. So we've done that. Distribution medium on both. And how's our water? Consumption is below the production as well. Perfect. Okay, so the oath has been developed for our residences. So we are allowed to build the shacks now. And what we want to do is set up a bit of a living area. This costs quite a bit to build the roads, so just be wary of that. It does cost stone and planks. And I think we're going to get our first residences in. It's safe to say we could pop them over here. Just going to do a small amount, maybe three there we need we need to keep a space for the pub and stuff as well as we do it um we're going to be obviously out of lumber but that will come back in we do produce a fair amount so it's fine All right, if you're wondering what these are down here that's a pause that is upgrade to next tier so you can upgrade it i sure you want to upgrade bricks iron ingot glass and wire it costs a fortune um or demolish as well there and then when you've upgraded it or doing something some buildings have other options in here to switch it to as well i think that's where this one comes in but yeah, we're looking pretty good. We produce more of everything than we consume at the moment, so we are fine. In theory, we could get another plank, another lumber mill, and that would still match our log output here. But I'm going to stay nice and slow and keep on top of that. So we're in our uh, first autumn, as you can see here. I don't know if there's like temperature in the game yet. Oh, we got it on medium. I need it on regular, don't I? Yeah, I've got it on the wrong thing. Let's do that then. Are we producing enough for that? I think we are. Yeah, that looks okay. Perfect. We'll get that distributed out for these two days then. And I don't think we can do any research just yet, by the way, until we've completed this next bit. So we've got one more objective on the first phase here for tier one. Complete. But you'll see our shacks going up now. If you look at services under your each one you click on, you'll see houses here. Entertainment, health and security. So you're going to need some kind of medics. There's a pub we can get as well. What we need to do is try and increase morale. 
based on this. So at the moment, each house can hold 10. So 10, 20, 30. We've got seven that haven't got a house. So we'll get the one more shack in. I'm actually going to do this in a block of four here. And what I'm going to do is pretty similar to how you do it on um, the other post-apocalyptic game that I played. I can't remember the name of it now. Terrible, isn't it? All right, we're on our last bit, though. So exploration overview. I'm just going to bring this round, though. That's what our block's going to look like eventually. So over here, then, overview and reports. We have our city. So we have storage count, electricity, mineral deposits. No problem. That is the tutorial. So if you're wondering, you can go through all the stuff in here. So life, food quality, food distribution is quite deep, right? And there's the tutorial. So the game has officially opened up for me now. So it's all about getting our production chains done. And to be honest, we're going to take our time and make sure we do have everything leveled and good here. So one thing I've noticed is we're not producing enough for our wood. So what we can do is go back in now and actually reduce these guys down to a different distribution or we go ahead and get more resources but the way i like to do it is see what how you're going to work towards your next thing here so let's plan out a little bit of roads here then so i think it's worth this one that's not going to be able to come across okay oh unkept promises what is this a message from the community what's the point of increasing food shares if some of us don't even get a bite we don't have enough food to meet the ration distribution you set for the population giving us false hope won't be a benefit for anyone we're waiting on you to set things straight i will reassess the situation this was this is temporary hang in there right it's temporary so let's let's just see real quick oh 0 0.1 so you can you can put it right down i think we'll stay at 1x anyway saying that we don't have enough and that is the case actually so if we get if we go production we're actually going to put in a second soup kitchen and based on that we're also going to get another gathering camp but we're not going to put it over here i think i'm going to start branching out just a little bit we're gonna have it over this way i'm gonna get it over here because that has a crazy amount right there just gonna bring the road up to it like that that's gonna help a lot what do we have here cost of rejection so that's three days or minus 25 morale for all classes so actually we need this construction to hurry up and finish and get some people in there looks like we're in the winter now as well so it's starting to get pretty snowy okay hurry up guys okay minus 20 how farming cannot produce a mushroom mushroom gathering halted you know what that means ah oh, we haven't even unlocked it yet all right we need the winter to pass then otherwise we are screwed we have a little bit of food but not a lot so what we're gonna have to do for this winter period there's a lot of this by the way you'll have to make sure you're turning things down so let's try medium 22 though are we going to have enough to get through this let's 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 see how we get on for the workers with that that should be okay so our consumption should go below below the production i don't know whether that's going to affect our cost of rejection but that is how it's going to have to be unfortunately i think we can go with one of these and we'll just put one worker in there i think that might level us to where we need to be no winter's a while are we just going to die out of no food did i not gather enough we shall see Okay, guys, the distribution's going down to low to make sure we do survive this. So this is our first little test here, actually, isn't it? Oh, man, I didn't see how long that lasted. How many days? It's about 15 days or 10 days-ish, so we'll have to see. We have plenty of meals, actually. I don't know how long that's going to last. You guys are going to have to starve. All right, I can see spring coming through now, which is something. Um, only problem is we have no food. We have some... They might survive. Let's see what happens. don't know whether that was intentional, so we'll, we'll know shortly. Okay, 16 workers hungry. So a little bit close, uh, similar to um, Frostpunk in that way. We've been eating raw food. Mental stagnation. Okay, minus five. We'll be back on the, we'll be back on the food in a second, all right? So our second gatherer, actually, is going to be built too, which is awesome. So let's get the workers in there. Let's just hammer out the mushrooms here. There we go. So we should be able to then get this producing again. So I'm just going to hammer up all the food here and we're going to solve all of our food supplies here. That was actually really good. So unrest and losing control. No good will come of this. Chief, we feel the need to give you a clear warning. For days we've been trying to live on rations that barely will our spoons. Why must we stoop to such a life when we have all the resources we need to improve? Do you honestly find this acceptable? All right, 
We expect to you to fix this within 10 days. Okay, set ration distribution to regular and succeed for three days in a row. That's more than fine. So we're going to go regular. And because we have a good production again, we should be able to hammer out the production of the food now. That's, so that's better. And there's our annual report. So naught people decide, uh, died from disease. No disasters, lack of water or food. Two new people joined. Nine births took place. That's scary. <laughs> Okay, perfect. All right, distribute rations. We'll, we'll work through that one. I just need to make sure I know what I'm doing to get this in. I'm pretty sure in order to uh, go to the next stage, there's got to be something we do. All right, with all these births happening, look, we have, uh, we have 11 children as well. So actually, we're in a pretty bad way in that uh, case. So let's get another two shacks in. I'll tell you what. Need to leave a little bit of room, but I think over this way is going to be the next block as well. So let's get those there. We've got plenty of resources to work with. Um, stone's still looking good and food, lots of food produced. So actually we've got way too many people in here. Just going to slow that down because we don't want to overproduce. So we should be fine. And then we'll need to have maybe a storage place for that. So what you can do is get a stockpile in. So let's chuck a stockpile over here. And what we'll do is set that one for these guys. Oh man, I'm having fun. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be playing a separate one of this on my own anyway, so I'm, I'm excited to uh, to learn more and, and keep playing, to be honest, guys. I'm, I'm, I've been waiting for it for a long time, so yeah. Please let me know your thoughts, and obviously the thumbs up in the comments to tell me you want to see more of what, what helped me massively on the channel as well, so please do that as well. And if you aren't subscribed, please do do that. It is a massive, massive help. It really, really is. I'm just going to slow it down so we can just check in on everything. So the most important thing is these types see we're not we, we don't have enough so if i bring this down by one that should help our water production and consumption um we do still have them on regular for water i think we should be okay because the idea is to have loads of food right the available resources on this one are depleting so we will have to demolish and move that and then over here we have only 540 some we actually need to get down to hunters and unlock that uh, we're going to click for result on this one as well. So we don't want to go through this kind of ordeal again. Okay, things have stabilized. Good. Ah, look at this. If you click the day, you can set the daytime. Let's check out the lighting on here and see what's best for you guys. I think the current time to noon is the most brightest one. And it should look the best for you, actually. So I'm, I'll keep it on that one for you. And I'll say I'm not going to resume it. I'll keep it at daytime. Just for the sake of you guys, it looks a lot nicer, right? Let's just see what we have homeless-wise. So we have a total of 60, 70, 80, 90 housing spaces. We've got plenty of space here. I think we unlock the next tier. I think it's based on population. Don't quote me on that. We'll find out shortly. Yeah, cycle progress. Here we go. So we have to hit 40 population to hit cycle two, and that's when we can unlock the new research. Sorry, I was being daft there. What we can do is kind of stockpile them, which is going to be good. And based on this, then, I'm just going to see. We're producing way more than we're consuming, and we don't have a lot of mushrooms in these guys. So what we're going to need to do is make sure that we have a gathering camp elsewhere that is going to produce for us. So let's check it. There's a lot of meat and fish. It's just going to be the mushrooms, and obviously you don't get mushrooms in winter. So we're gathering from there. There's another pile up there. You get this little indicator, but what we want is one, yeah, like over here. That is awesome. There's a double there and it's not as far. So if I go here and I'm going to test my uh, my windy roads here. You know what? We're in the new cycle. Let's not do that because we can unlock the research. Yeah, that's a smarter thing. Let's go back because we don't want to be building that too far out yet anyway. But here we go. So building and resources that are available with the new era. Windmill, smith, forge, and a tavern. So lots of stuff we've just unlocked. So with that in mind, let's go straight into this then. So community needs will unlock the tavern. We can build that pretty straightforward. But I think hunting is going to be the one. And we can't do that without metal. So we're going to have to start the research of metalworking techniques. That's going to help us kind of get through this little slump here, I think. Which is perfect. And we've got some stone deposits and stuff here that we can gather as well. So we're still fine on those, I think. And then we need to unlock the food as soon as we can. We've got plenty of knowledge points to do so. I'm not even going to get the uh, the tools down straight away. I'm actually going to go straight into the pub. 
first. So I'm just going to go straight into the development tree. Wait for that one to finish. There it is. So we've unlocked the basic tools, the forge and the smith. That's fine. And then I'm going to go straight into community needs here. I'm going to start that one researching. So we're going to need one forge and one smith here. So a forge. Well, firstly, actually, we're going to need a field camp to gather iron. Right? We need to find iron. And there we have it. So we've got a lump of iron over here, which is going to be good. Let's get this back on the grid. And let's get it as close as we can because we might be able to flip this to wood afterwards. Although there's a bit of stone there. Now, this is just for uh, iron, unless that one reaches. Nah, let's not do that. Let's get the field camp in line to be able to reach all this then. Let's go, go there. Now let's get the road in. Just bring that up to there for now. Just a little one and then we'll get that one constructed we'll start gathering the iron and we'll go into the tool production nice and early that should see us through right yeah i think this lighting's really good right and there's the tavern as well we need better shelters uh okay rusted tools will reduce efficiency efficiency minus 20 for five days because the building's been inactive for too long okay maybe i didn't need all those houses then we got one person living in the shack all on his own I'm just keeping it nice and slow at the moment, and I'm going to go into the residence here, the utility, sorry, and grab the tavern. So, this does, in fact, doesn't reach everyone there. It does. Oh, no. Did I get this wrong? No, that works. But then that doesn't cover good over there. I thought that was right, but actually what we can do is get it. I can have the road come further up, but that is bigger than the others, right? going to demolish this road out there we go we're going to go into the utilities and we're going to grab this tavern and that does cover all the houses there and what i'll do is make sure the dusty shack and that's fine we can make that work there we go and then i can get some more houses coming along here as well that'll work out just nicely and there's the stranger group as well so the, the group of wanderers each less fortunate than us awaits permission to join our ranks these do come in so that's 23 we've got to be careful here though what are you complaining about Build three shacks. Uh, okay, that I can do. We've got plenty of stuff here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put them over here then. Maybe, let's go all three there. More tools, less toil. Wow, we're getting we're getting demands left and right here. All right, Chief, since we can now process metals, you can give us the means to make tools. Let's do it. We'll make some tools. So produce 65 basic tools. No problem. So this new shack then is all for the iron. We could get more wood in from this as well, but that's not the aim. I think our gathering huts now stopped producing. So we need the tools, so let's get these paused a second. Uh, we've got enough spare workers hanging about anyway. Are we producing any at the moment? Uh, available resources zero, so there's no more mushrooms. We also need to wait for them. Bro, we've got to get the tools. But guys, that is going to be the perfect time to end this one out. So as always, please do go ahead and smash the thumbs up for me. If you are new around here, consider subscribing. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.